You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because of You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because into a thousand pieces and you say it's because I deserve better? Hi, my name is Philip. I have been living in Japan since 2007 and plan to return to Germany in March 2023. What you just started to watch will be an audio-visual diary of my last 15 months in this country. I plan to show you what it is like to live here. Not the fancy pants glittering lights of Tokyo, but snippets of everyday life in Yokohama, things I would have loved to see in the two years I planned coming here. Today I will take you to my local shrine, or Jinja, so Tsurugamine Jinja. Tsurugamine is a rather old area. You could uh, say this is an old town. This is how these things are actually called in Japan. Vis-a-vis -a, -vis a new town that was usually built upwards the 60s or 70s into the 80s. There are of course several of those in Yokohama. I will go there either for a diary entry or perhaps a photo walk, which I also plan to make videos about. This area is really beautiful for photography, to be honest. This, for example, is an Instax square with the flash enabled, sadly, but still. It is really beautiful to walk. I find a lot of inspiration around here. Outside of a lot of new houses, of course, new buildings, there are also still some very, very old buildings, like the one on the left, for example, is probably from the 80s, not much older, I guess, maybe from the 70s. I actually was looking into one of these uh, when I first was looking for my current flat. Interestingly, the building I was looking at was allowing pets, so I could have a cat by now. But given the relatively short time frame, I still plan to live in this country. It was actually a good decision not to take this flat. 
because they are usually not very earthquake secure. And also getting a cat back to Germany is not an easy task. As we are now approaching the ginger, let me pause the music for a minute. On the left you can see the little oven that is used um, on the night of January 1st. Uh, there you bring your old charms, lucky charms that you can usually buy in a ginger. This one is a little bit too small perhaps. Uh, every jingu, so larger shrine definitely has them, but the smaller ones not always. And you bring them there to burn them. This is to bring you good luck for the new year. So as I walk through the tori, I always bow at every one of them. I don't know if this is necessarily necessary, but why not? It shows respect. As you can see, uh, this uh, ginger has a bell. Not all of them have one. So you drop in some money, usually 5 yen, to pray. Then you ring the bell. Two claps, bowing and praying. I mean, not bowing, just a little... Heads down uh, and you pray, and when you're done, you bow again and respectfully make your way out of the shrine. As you can see, the shrine is surrounded by houses, which is not uncommon. Funny enough for anybody who's not used to that here in Japan, uh, there are always graveyards close to houses. There's a little one just next to the ginger. This is always a curiosity. It is also said to bring you good luck to live right next to a graveyard. Right now, it's time for a another photo. This one has definitely worked better. And as I have just left, let me turn the music back on. Up here there are often cats, actually. So I should really come back just to feed the shrine cats. I don't know why, but this area is very rich of uh, wild cats, luckily in Yokohama you can often find this, I guess even in Tokyo. Weirdly enough, sometimes they do not have a tail, as if somebody has cut off their tail, or at least half uh, cut them off, but I can really not explain that. I just hate that. There are really many train nerds in Japan. I think my son is definitely one of them, maybe my daughter too, to an extent. I am myself to an extent, and as you can see here, somebody had actually mounted a uh, train traffic light in the front of their house. You can really see a lot of interesting things here.
Next up we have a very old house, probably 60s. That next to it is probably even older, looks more like 50s. God knows it might be even older than that, but it's unlikely. But it's owned by somebody who is politically very engaged. Not sure which party that is though. Now we are coming to a house with two very, very, very noisy dogs. I can hear them often throughout the night. It's fantastic. Exactly. Around my house, which is to the left, there are also many newer one f single family homes. On the right, you have a couple of older houses still, but um, in a moment, I will come past a rather old house. This is the old one. I guess 50s, maybe 60s. I'm not good with guessing and there's sadly never very much information which is not just in Japanese, which I'm even after uh, 15 years still not very capable of, which is one of the reasons why I'm actually going to leave the country, but I will talk more about that at a later point. And the houses right next to me are really new. When I moved here about a year ago, they weren't there. Well, home sweet home. See you next time. Oops.